Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 26 in chapter 4. In this one, we still consider Newton's second law for the freefall body, and then this person just bend the knees and then to just make it just stationary. See what happens. So first part is the freefall body at the initial velocity is zero, and then this person falls down, falls down on the ground. When he just reaches ground, we say this velocity is V2. And then the displacement for this freefall body is 3.9 meter. The next thing we know the acceleration is due to gravity pointing down, so it's G. There we take the down as the positive direction, so this one is positive G. The next part is this person just do something right to make him can just keep stationary. So he bends the knees. So in this one, the final velocity for him is zero. And the displacement for the body move is 0 0.7 meter. Then we want to find the acceleration. The next one is ask you to find the velocity just before his feet hit the ground. So this one, we need to find V2. You can see how easy it is. We know initial velocity, displacement, and acceleration. It's super easy for us to find the velocity V2. Do you agree? Let's use our favorite equation. And the next one, the average force act on this person by his leg. So we need to find the force at the part 2. So we do the force analysis. So first the force act on it, act on him is the gravity. Then the force by the knees, Ft. And if we write the Newton's second law, we say the net force equals the mass, net force equals the mass times acceleration. So the we choose the net the down as positive. So mg minus Ft equals the mass times action or acceleration 2, A2. It looks like we need to find A2, so we can find the, this force, right? So then how can we find A2? You can see, look at this part, the velocity V2, we can get it from the question A, and displacement is given, final velocity is given. It's easy to us to get the A2, do you agree? Once we get A2, we input in this equation, we can get the force. See, how can we do it? So first part, we can get the V2 at there. Use our favorite equation, this one. After we get this equation, we can find the acceleration. A2 at there, so V2 is given. V3 is zero, and displacement is given. So in this one, very easy, we can get the acceleration. This acceleration pointing down, because this person need to slow down, slow down, slow down, right? Is correct. And then once we get A2, we input in this equation, we get this force, after force act on this person. So then we use this uh, Newton's second law, the net force equals the mass times acceleration to get the final force. This force is upward. Thank you.